You don't want to mess with this, baby! Hey guys, what's going on? It's like an intro before the intro, I guess you could say. Uh, this video, obviously, all about the Gladius. I hope you enjoy it. Upgrading the Gladius, fully upgrading the Gladius. Um, it was a lot of fun. I show you guys everything in this video, and I'm in the completed thing right now. We just had some fun uh, taking out like four different enemies. So it's a lot of fun. So if you're ready, if you want to see this ship, a fully upgraded Gladius, it's a freaking beast, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some Star Citizen, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day today so far. As you can see up there by the title of this video, we are going to be doing a fully upgraded Aegis Gladius. Now, this isn't the first time I've done a fully upgraded video. I did one for the Caterpillar, and I also did one for the Freelancer Max. That was the first one I did, um, but you guys seem to really enjoy them, so I thought we'd do them again. And also, the Freelancer and the Caterpillar... Since then, 3.8 has come around, and it's it's completely different. So they're, yeah, they're just not the same as they used to be, um, so I'm going to have to redo those ones. But the way that this video is going to go is I am going to literally go to every single place with you. We're going to upgrade this ship fully together, and we're going to go to each and every location, and I'll explain to you why I decided to um, upgrade to what I did uh, in, pretty, in pretty good detail, too. And I'll show you, and I'll link in the description all of the programs or um, websites that I used to do this. So first things first, we're going to be upgrading the weapons of the Gladius. So let me throw it up on screen right here. All right, so hopefully you guys can see this. Hopefully, I've, the, the, sorry if the mic's louder or quieter in this part when I switch. It's just, it is what it is, okay? I'm sorry. So the first thing we're going to be doing is upgrading the weapons. So you can see right here, there has three size three fixed weapons. We're actually going to be changing all of these to gimbal. Uh, just because, especially in a fighter, having gimbal, it's just so much easier these days. They're so overpowered. And um, they're, ju they're just beasts. It's like, little, you, got, you know, you got a little auto assist, aim assist on it, you know what I mean? So first things first, we're going to be changing all of them, actually, to the same weapon. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking, if you've been around the channel for a while, you want a lot of people asked what was IC's Cutlass. Um, what weapons was he using on his Cutlass? Now, he was using these right here, the mass drivers. Uh, feel free, if you want to use these, I'll show you in a second the difference between them. Um, they are beasts of weapons. They just fire a little bit differently. But me, being me, I like the... <laughs> I love Gatling guns. I don't know. They just sound great. They look great. They're so much fun to use. So we're going to be going for the Scorpion GTs right here. And we're going to be using that on all three of them. So to put it into perspective between the two, I'll show you now. So these are the weapons that I have chosen. This is the uh, Scorpion GTs. The ammo count is 8,000. Keep in mind, these are ballistic weapons. They're not energy. So they won't, like, reproduce ammo over time. You are going to have to um, resupply your ammo when you go to rest stops. But 8,000, I don't think you're going to get into a fight and then run out of ammo. You know what I mean? Unless you get into multiple fights at once, I think you should be good with 8,000. Now, the reason I love these, obviously, look at this. The fire rate a minute. These things just shred like nobody's business. It's got a good damage per second. Uh, the mass driver, this is the one that Icy uses if you are interested. The ammo count is a little bit lower, but they are a little bit more powerful. Uh, the fire rate per minute, though, as you can see, versus the Scorpion, it's 63 versus 900. It is a little bit lower. Icy loves these. He swears by them. Um, if you liked those guns on his ship when you saw that video of him in his Cutlass, this is what he's using. But for this video, again, weapons are going to be personal preference, but I love these things. And you'll see exactly what they do um, at the end of the video because we'll put all the parts on the ship and we'll take it for a test drive and it's going to be awesome. But this right here is the weapons we're going for. So next up here is missiles. So for missiles, this again is personal preference. But I'll show you, these are the ones that come stock. So I'll show you the information right here. So they're cross-section uh, tracking signature. And then the ones that I'm going to be putting on is the Thunderbolts right here. So let's see. Their damage is higher on the Thunderbolts. The uh, tracking distance, so the distance you can lock on, is 10,000 versus 9,000. Everything else is pretty much the same. The only thing difference is the infrared. So the infrared tracking signature... Your enemy ship that you're fighting against, they're going to be able to use countermeasures. They're going to be able to throw flares out and things like that uh, to, d you know, distract your missiles from where they're going. Whereas the crossfield, they can't. No one can run away from the cross section. Cross section, sorry, not crossfield. Uh, no one can run away from those. So we're going to be going for both of these anyway on the Thunderbolts. Okay, so for the secondary missiles right here, um, this is the Ignite. So I'll show you. This is the stock one. It's infrared. Again, they'll be able to throw out flares for those. 
Uh, but what we're going to be going for is the strike force, actually. And these are, you can see right here, the tracking distance is a little bit lower, but the damage is a little bit higher and they're cross-section, so they won't be able to do any, you know, maneuvers to make sure that these things don't hit. These things will hit. So I'm going to do two strike forces. Again, you guys can look at this yourselves, and um, it, it is personal preference, but this, just for the sake of this build, these are the weapons you guys can see right here. This is the weapons I'm going to be using for this build. So a cool thing about this website, it's going to be linked in the description. If you hit the shopping cart right here, you can see it shows you where these are going to be located. So Port Alisar is where we currently are. So we're going to be buying the Thunderbolts from here. And then the Strike Force, if you click that, they're also available at Port Alisar. The Scorpions, uh, we're going to have to pick these up. I think we're actually going to be going later on to her L3 or 4. So we'll pick these up at one of those. All right, so like I say, we're here, so let's go ahead and get the weapons. And for the weapons, they are at Dumper's Depot, which is right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go check them out. All right, hey, what's going on? How you doing? You doing well? Hi. Welcome to the store. You, you are so happy, aren't you? I love it. Okay, I'm just going to go shopping. All right, guys. So here we are, Dumper's Depot. We're going to go straight to Weaponry. No, we're not. We're going to missiles. The first one right here. So before we get the missiles, actually, we should go to weaponry right here. Go on this top one. Oh, not the top one. Sorry. The second one, turret. We're going to need gimbal mounts. So we need size 3. That's what our ship is, size 3. We put these on, and they should support size 2 weapons. You can see right here at the bottom, uh, Varipux will accept any weapon one size smaller than the hard point. So if this is the hard point size 3, it should um, support size 2. So we're going to buy three of those right there. It's going to be 11,000. Confirm. All right, boom. Okay, now to the weapons. Missiles. So it's these two right here. The Thunderbolt. These are the bad boys we want. So we'll buy a few of them. We'll just get 10 of those for now. Confirm. And then Strike Force. We're going to buy some of these. Let's just get 10 of those also. All right, so there you have it. We should have 10 and 10. All right, so there's the weapons. Now, if we go into Moby Glass right here, we should be able to see if I go to Ship, uh, Select Ship. We will do the Gladius. I have so many of these things right now. It's annoying. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so you can see for these ones right here, we're going to make sure that is the Strike Force. Strike Force. Strike Force. That's what we want equipped right here. And then the next one, we're going to be going to the Thunderbolts. Okay, so now they are all equipped. Perfect. So weaponry, what we're going to do, I believe, where is Gimbal Mount? You know what? We'll do all this at the end because we haven't even purchased these guns yet. We'll do this part at the end. All right, so there we have it. We have those weapons. Next up is going to be the Scorpion GTs, the Shredders, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go get... Let's go ahead, get our ship, and we'll head over there. Oh, look at that retaliator up there. Sexy beast. All right, here we go. Here's the Gladius. Uh, so we've switched around these missiles. So the missiles should be looking sexy on it right now. Not that you're going to be able to notice any different, but they're looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Um, anyway, we're going to be heading right now over to her L3, I believe it is. So her L3, that is where we're headed. So let's set that mark. Uh, this is where we're going to be buying the Scorpions. So we are going to be changing the quantum drive and everything on this ship. Uh, we'll get to that later on. Uh, but we're going to be making it much, much faster. All right, guys. Here we are. The one and only beautiful her L3. So this is where we're going to be buying our Scorpions from. Um, so yeah, I'll meet you guys when we get inside. I love this ship so much. If you haven't driven one of these, definitely ask if anyone has one. Um, it, especially on planets, this thing is a goddamn beast. All right, guys. Here we bloody are. Um, so these stations, as you guys know, have changed. I mean, they're crazy now. They're like a, um, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Just trying to look for what shop or just trying to see what shop you're looking for. So let's go find it. I think we may have actually gone the right bloody way for once, you know. Platinum Bay, it's not Platinum Bay. Platinum Bay is for... That's going to be for generators and stuff. Downstairs, maybe? Aha! There we go. It was just downstairs here. Perfect. Look at the size of that. Look at that, bro. I mean, you're looking at it already, but... No returns, no exchanges, all sales final. All right, well, we better make sure we get the right one, then. All right, so we're here for weaponry. Um... Gun, right? What did I say? Where, where's the badger? It's a size two. Like some of these weapons, these size sixes, they are just ridiculous. <laughs> the size of them. All right, go on. Where's the scorpion? You can't put it at the bottom. That's not fair. Is it really going to be? There it is. All right, scorpion GT. There's the badger. 
in stock. Look at that. It just it's it's a beaut. It's a beaut. All right, so we're gonna buy this. We're gonna buy three of them. One, two, three. All right, so that's gonna come out to twenty three thousand five hundred and fifty. Done. Purchased. Okay, your trek says la Your transaction has succeeded. Look at some of these. You got some pretty decent weapons here. I'll give you that. What are you looking at? I'm not up to no good. You're up to no good. Get out of here. All right, let's move on. All right, guys. So now that we've picked up the weapons for the ship, next up is the shields. So the shields, power point, power plant, and the cooler can all be purchased at Levski. So we're actually going to go over to Levski for this one. And luckily, they're all the same price. So it's not like we have to go somewhere else for them. But I'll show you where else you can purchase them uh, when we get there. So, uh... Let's head over to Levski. All right, guys. We're coming into Delamar. If you don't know where Levski is, it's a Delamar. <laughs> so the first time I came here, it was actually so difficult for me to find this place because I couldn't find the actual Levski on the map. Um, but look how cool this place is. Is it not? Quantum fuel is low. No shit. I forgot to fuel up when we were at the rest stop. All right, guys. So we're going to be headed to Levski. Let me show you where that is just in case you don't know. I'm sure you do. If you go into here, Levski, you can actually see it. It was on the other side of the planet just then. Where'd you go? Levski, there you are. My precious. And there you have it. Levski, we are on the way. Quick little jump here. So like I say, this is where we're going to be buying our shield, our power plant, and the cooler for this ship. And they're all about, well, they are all the same. You can get them in other places. Like the shield, you can also get a Port Alisar. Um, the power plant, you can also get at Area 18, and the cooler, you can also get at Crew L4. But we're going to be getting everything here, um, at Levski. Alright, here we bloody well go. Hopefully, comms aren't working. Why you, why you never work when I want you to? You were working a minute ago. You're not going to work on here either? There we go, Levski. You're not going to work, are you? Why you, why you don't work? I can see you right there. <laughs> ah, 3.8. I absolutely love you. I do. Oh, now it's saying to proceed. So I must have done something. There we go. Let's see if I can land here without dying. That would be perfect for me. Which one is it? There we can bloody well go. All right. This is the moment of truth for me. I mean, luckily, they're massive hangars. So I shouldn't crash. But you know what? It is one of my videos. So let's not hold our breath. Oh. You know what? This is good enough. This is good enough. I mean, we're, we're, we're basically censored, right? We're basically censored. I mean, <laughs> it's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. All right, so we're going to run in here. I'm going to walk you through every single thing we're going to be buying and the reasons behind... Uh, why I purchased them. Why am I not getting out of my seat? There we go. Come on, hop on out. I love the animation of this too. <laughs> so cool. So bloody cool. All right, yeah, like I say, I'm going to walk you through everything. I'll walk you through why I purchased it, why I chose each individual one. Anyway, let's get there. You going to open for me? Or... What do we reckon? Are we stuck in here? Nope. Well, that was longer than I anticipated. All right, well, we're here. That's all that matters. Do they still have Christmas presents and stuff? Or are they all... Surely they're all still here, right? The Christmas presents? They haven't had an update since then. I mean, this is not what this video is about, so I guess we'll leave them, but... <laughs> I had the... If you can look back on my channel, the Great Christmas Present Hunt, whatever it was called, I had a lot of fun, me and Icy, trying to find Christmas presents here. And we got a lot. We got a bloody lot of them. All right, here we go. The Grand Barter. I absolutely love this place. Like, this is... Ah, this place is just awesome. All right, now we need to find the shops. Hmm. I'm, I'm not familiar with the locations here, so it may take a sec. This is going to take me a while, huh? I knew it would. Wait, what is this? Hospital? It's not the hospital. Dumpers Depot? That's what I'm looking for. But wait, I thought Dumpers... No, Dumpers Depot is definitely going to... Oh, no, Dumpers Depot. Yeah, they'll have all of it. You doing the moonwalk there, bud? Looking good, looking good. Door's locked. What is happening here today? I'm sure. I'm assuming it's going to open. Like, last minute. Oh, there we go. Hey, what's cracking? How you doing? You know what, Levski? You, you guys are a little... You cheer up a little bit. You know, life's great. Life's great. I'm assuming this, this server's probably going to crash soon. Uh, that's all I can assume. 
Everything's going wrong. Okay, here we go. Propulsion. All right, so the quantum drive is the one thing that we're not buying from here. But all three of these we are. So, cooler. What cooler are we buying? And let's jump into the other screen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Back in here. So, cooler is the first thing we're going to buy. Okay? So, the one we're going for is this one right here. The Ultra Flow. And we need two of them. So, it's probably going to be an expensive purchase. But we need two of them. So, you can see right in here, these are all the coolers. So I'll try and explain to you the reasoning behind this, okay? So the one that comes stock on this ship is the Bracer. The Bracer, Bracer, right here. So it's size 1, uh, grade C, military. Uh, the power-up time is 12 and a half seconds, let's just go for. And the cooling rate is 2,600, or 260,000, I should say. The one we're going for is the Ultra Flow right here. It's a grade A industrial. Uh, the power-up time is 8 seconds, so it's much faster. And the cooling rate is actually 440,000. So you can see it is definitely, definitely much bigger. So the price on this, we're here at Levski, is 27,550. Or you could go for the EcoFlow. It's not too much slower. It's the same power up speed and it's 22,000 if you're trying to save a little bit of money. Um, but this one for 27,000, this is going to be the best cooler you can buy for this ship. Um, so this is the one that we're going to be going for. All right, so now we just got to find it. So there's the EcoFlow I was talking about. We're going for the Ultra... Ultra Flow. 27,000 right here. Okay, so we need two of these. So we'll purchase two. Process an order. Boom! Perfect. Your transaction is complete. Return. Okay. So ours... I don't know which color it is. I think it's the orange. Was it the orange we went for? I don't know. All right, so anyway, next up. All of them are in the same place. So this is going to be a short video. Usually I have to travel around the verse a little bit to find all these things. But luckily, we're buying all of these in the same place. So that's the cooler. Power plant next up ladies and gentlemen. All right, so here you go power plant the one that comes with the ship is the Regulus the Regulus um, So let's have a look what that one is so it's right here the Regulus grade C military and the power is 21 uh, 5 5 the one we're gonna be purchasing here today is the best one you can get uh, which is this one right here the Brayton It's an industrial grade a but it is 52,000 so it is it's it's pretty expensive. It is pretty expensive but it does have the most power in its class. So if you go into here and you're looking at this power plant, um, this is the one we have. You can see 2155, and we're going right to the top, to the Brayton, all the way up here. Um, this is, It's a big bad boy. It's a big bad boy. And it's the one right up top. Luckily, you only have to purchase one of these. You don't have to purchase two. I think it was for the, the freelancer, or not the freelancer, the Caterpillar, where I had to purchase two of these, but just one. So 52,000 to confirm. Boom. Perfect. Okay, next up, ladies and gentlemen, is the shield generator. All right, so for the shield generator, uh, where is that shield? So unfortunately, there's two of them. So we are going to have to purchase two of these. So you can see, this is all the uh, the ones right here. So you'd think the Palisade is going to be the best. Let's take a look. So Palisade right here, it is grade A industrial. Uh, the shield HP is, you know, 29 or 7,000. 29, what am I thinking? 7,920. But the regen time on this is 46 seconds. I mean, that's a that's a big regen time. So even though it's a lot more powerful, it takes forever uh, to power up. So that is actually not what we want. So the one we're going to be going for is the FR-66 right here. It's also grade A military. It's 6120 versus the 79. But you can see the power up time is 46. This is 20 seconds. So when you're in a fighter like this... You want your shields to regenerate fast, especially if you're in a bounty with another player and you're both going to be shooting at each other. You're going to want to regenerate as quick as possible, so that's why I'm going for this one. If you decide you want the um, just more more HP, definitely go for the Palisade, um, but it does, like I say, the regenerate is a little bit longer. It's double. But for this build, we're going to be going for the FR-66. Right, where for art thou, FR-66? There you are. Look at some of these. These are size threes, though. But this is the one we're going to be going for right here. So let's purchase that. Confirm. Transaction is a success. Great success. Okay. So now we have basically everything that we need from Levski. Next up, the only thing we need left, I believe, is the... Uh, I think it's just the, the, the quantum drive, right? Yeah, that's it. The quantum drive. And for the quantum, we're going to be headed over to uh, Arc L1. Arc L1. Let's have a little look where that is. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to refuel from here before we go there. I think it's down south. So let me... You guys see it? 
Oh, it's right there. Yeah, we got a long ways to go. We got a long ways to go. So I could either go and get a different ship, like a freelancer, uh, to head over there to pick that up, or we could just stop off. I don't know. We'll definitely, we'll, we'll figure that out here in a sec. This place is sick though, isn't it? Like, I absolutely love this place. Just the atmosphere down there, everything. It's great, it's great, absolutely great. All right, we're just gonna go to Her L1. For some reason, Her L5 just doesn't want us to get there. It's fine. We should be able to get to Her L1, refuel, and then head over to Art Corp. This is the only thing with these fighters, and this is gonna be something that's important for the quantum drives that we're gonna talk about next. Um, there's a lot of options for you, let's just say that. A lot of options. I can't imagine most people We'll be doing distances like this in a ship like this. Uh, but we'll go over all of that when we talk about quantum drives. Alright guys, we're here. I just need to refuel. Quick little pit stop. And then we should be good to just get out of here. Hopefully the refuel works. I'm going to do the hover maneuver. Alright, let's try it right here. Yeah, we'll just do everything. Why not? Is it working? Coin fuel. Boom! All right, there we go. Fully locked and loaded. Arc L1 ready in our uh, GPS. <laughs> Let's bloody get out of here. All right, guys. I'll see you when we get there. All right, guys. Here we are. The last stop. Quite arguably, the most exciting stop. Well, some people could argue that, you know, buying a guns for a ship like this is the most exciting. But for me as a trader, and I love quantum drives, this is my most exciting uh, thing that we can do. So, let's go ahead and hail ourselves in here. Why are you not working, bro? Are you are you there? Are you just up top? Like, what's going on? But yeah, this is my, my favourite thing to upgrade in a ship anyway. I love upgrading the quantum drives. Mainly, I think it stems from the fact that it used to take forever to quantum around the planet, but I haven't even been it oh not the planet, the verse. But I haven't even really had the chance to quantum around in my um my caterpillar recently because my caterpillar's broken. <laughs> caterpillar's broken. I've had to request an account reset, so but it's fine. Alright, I'll meet you guys in there. I love that animation. It's just so cool. Yeah, like I say, I'll meet you guys in there. This is the final stop. This is the quantum drive stop. And uh it's right in here. Let's do it! Alright, I see... I always call it Cassaba. What is it I should call it? Cassaba? Oh no, I call it Cascada. I don't bloody know. But I tell you what, the comment section does. <laughs> Alright, we'll look at... I'm surprised I haven't had any... You know, knock on wood. I haven't had any crashes uh, this entire video. I don't know where we are at in the video for you, but for me, it's been about an hour and ten minutes. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Alright, we have a clothing shop. What is that?! I need it. Okay, we have a clothing shop. We have Cascab, Cassaba. It's not going to be next to Cassaba, right? Oh, there is something down here, though. Absolutely goddamn nothing. You don't look awkward at all. Is that it? No, that's the easy hab. Where the bloody hell? <laughs> hey, there you are, my little friend. What's going on, bud? How you doing? I'm just here, just shopping. Just trading. Nope, wait. Wait, wait this is trading. Wait, is this trading? Why would it be a trading console? It is. Why does it say trading? That's weird. All right, Quantum Drive. Ladies and gentlemen, let's switch the screen around because we have a lot to talk to. Not a lot, but a little bit to talk to about Quantum Drives. All right, guys. So here we are back in the little builder here, the DPS calculator. Uh, quantum Drive. So the one that we have on the ship currently is the beacon right here. Okay. Now let's look over on the other menu. So beacon, right here. You can see the beacon is what we have. And it's a um, it's a grade C, military. Cooldown is 12 seconds. Spool time is 2 seconds. And the quantum speed is actually pretty decent at 283. That, I mean, this is a great quantum drive, the one that comes with the ship. Now if you don't like this quantum drive or you want to change it, there's two ways to go here. Okay, there's two ways to go. Now, this is, I was talking to Icy about this when we were, um, when I, before I built this ship. And uh, we had a little discussion about it. And both of us have two sides. So I think you could go either way for this. So first and foremost, I, you know me, I, you know, 
you have a stupid decision, which is my decision, and then you have icy, which is a more calculated decision. So the, the, the drive that icy recommends for you guys is the burst. And you may be thinking, well, that's even slower. Why would you get a burst? It is cheaper, it is slower, but here's the thing. This, the fuel economy on this thing is so much better. If you want to go into more detail, if you go onto this right here, like you're in here, if you go to the top left, and you can click on any of these. So if you go to the quantum drives, this right here, let's switch the grades. I think we are grade, was, we were, were we grade one on this ship? Oh, because I went by grade, not size, sorry. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so the one that he recommends is the burst. You can see it right here. This is the burst, okay? Now, the spool time, it's 5.6 seconds, okay, versus the 2.25. So it takes a little bit longer to spool up, but the power-up time is much faster, 5 seconds versus 12.5 seconds. But the thing is, with this quantum drive, the good thing is, is fuel economy. Anyway, the, the, what I was just showing you on that other page is you can look at all, it's more detailed, but I'm, I'm not going to get into that. If you want to go take a look at it, feel free. Uh, link is in the description to that website. But basically, the burst, the reason that he recommends this one is because you don't have to stop for fuel as much. Obviously, with these size 1 quantum drives, you have to stop for fuel quite a lot. And getting this quantum drive, it's still pretty quick, but it's not as um, fuel it's not as fuel efficient. Oh, it's more fuel efficient, sorry. So you don't have to stop as much. Now, me being the idiot that I am, okay, I, what I'm going to put in this ship is this one down here. The VK-00. It's a grade A military, okay? It takes two seconds spool time, which is super quick. The same as the beacon that's stuck on this ship. Uh, the cooldown time is 13 seconds. So it's one second longer cooldown time than the burst and the beacon. But the speed, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. This is the fastest quantum drive in the entire game. Like, you can look at all these different sizes for different ships, big ships, small ships. None of them... Uh, come close, okay? This is the fastest quantum drive in the verse, and the reason I choose this one um, is as follows, okay? For me, this ship is like a bounty ship, okay? It's bounty hunting, dogfights, things like that. I personally would never use this ship to go across the verse, and I'm sure you wouldn't either. I would rather go in like a freelancer, and then when I get there, I'll pull this ship out. You know what I mean? Um, but that's just the way that I play and I don't do a lot of bounty fights So maybe you shouldn't use my uh, suggestion But I want something that's quick that I can get around Let's say you're a crusader and you want to hop around the planets or you have bounties that are around those planets or the moons I should say I want to just get there as fast as possible and this one is the fastest quantum drive in the game Ladies and gentlemen for that reason. That's why I'm choosing it because <laughs> I just want the fastest one I just want the fastest one so anyway, the beacon is the base one. You can see right here, Port Alasar to Microtech, which is the longest distance. You're not going to be able to do it in any of these ships anyway because of the, uh, just the time. You know what I mean? Oh, the fuel, I should say. Um, so maybe that's not a good comparison. Maybe Heral 3 is a good comparison. Uh, let's go for Heral 3 then instead. So Port Alasar to Heral 3 in the stock one takes 2 minutes, 48 seconds. Okay, in the burst, it takes 3 minutes, 12 seconds, but it's much more fuel efficient. Or you go right to the top, which is 2 minutes 42 seconds. So it's not that much faster. <laughs> so do with this information what you will. But I, for the sake of this video, I'm going to get the fastest quantum drive in the game. That's what we're going to be putting on this ship. It is fully uploaded to the max, and it's going to have that on it. So let me just make sure. You know what? We'll come back to this later, okay? So let's, uh, let's go ahead and buy this. All right, let's get back in here. Propulsion, a quantum drive. You guessed it. It's 43,000. These are more expensive, but these are size 3s. So, just FYI. So, this is the size 1. The fastest quantum drive in the game. We're going to go ahead and confirm that purchase. Processing. And... Yeah, I can't go any higher than that. Come on, what are you doing? Do I have to say confirm? I've heard there's some bugs around these things. But, I don't know. Also, I think it was the cooler. I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, it went through. Perfect. There we go. Also, uh, just to let you guys know, I heard there is a few bugs with one of the things I bought. So let me show you that. The Breton. Okay, so for this one right here. So for the power plant, um, this one, we're going to put it on. But I see it mentioned earlier. He recommends, I think it was the Firefell Cascade. I could be wrong. I think it was this one is the one that he went for. 
Or could have been the endurance. I'm not sure. You have to ask him. Um, but he said that the reason he didn't choose this one when he was building his or building this ship is because he's heard that this glitches out and doesn't work. So we'll test it obviously right now, but I'm just giving you an FYI right there. All right, guys. So everything is purchased. Let's get out of here because I don't want people thinking we're weird. All right. So we're back here at the ship retrieval. Okay. So let's take a look at what we got here. So right now, I can't actually do anything to it because the ship... Look at that beauty. I can't do anything to it because the ship is still here. You see that? So I'm going to wait until the ship is in storage because you can't... Just in case you're wondering why you can't do anything, it's because your ship is out and about. So as soon as that goes in, I'm going to have a nice little seat over here. As soon as that thing gets... Um, can you not sit down on these seats? There we go. Ah, perfect. Nice long day. Chill out right here. I'm going to wait for my ship anyway to get claimed or to be put in storage. And then we'll finish the rest of the video. We'll put all of the parts on it. And uh, we'll, I'll show you everything fully, what's on the ship, the price of everything that's on the ship. And then we'll take it for a test drive. We'll go on a bounty mission and see what this thing can bloody do. All right, it's ready. It's ready. All right, we should be able... Well, where the hell did you come from? That was weird. All right. Should be able to build it all up now, guys. Here we bloody well go. Select ship. Gladius 2. For some reason, I have two of them. I should have done the first one, but it's fine. Um, here we go. So the missiles are all set. We got the strike force and the thunderbolt. Propulsion. Quantum drive. All right, here we go. This is where... Which one did we go for? We went for this one. Okay. Save changes and equip. Perfect. It is equipped. Systems. Cooler. All right, I got to remember because this is off all my ships. Keep in mind. That's why I have so many. So the ultra flow. And I'm pretty sure this ship has two ultra flows. So cooler one. Cooler two. Now we both have those. Uh, power plant. What was it called? Do you guys remember? The Brayton. 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 Shield generator. Wait, this has two shield generators? Okay, maybe. FR-66, right? No, it says I have two in use. I thought I went for the FR-66. How do I have none available? Did I only buy one? I only have one, so I'm going to have to get another one. But it's okay. We'll equip. We have one equipped right now. I'll have to fly over to Port Alisar. I am to purchase another one and put that one on. I must have only purchased one somehow. I don't know. All right, weaponry. This is where it gets interesting. So we have the missile racks. That's fine. And then right here, we need to put on the size 3 gimbal. And then the weapon that goes on that gimbal is the GT. Okay. And then nose. We put on a gimbal. And then the weapon that goes on that gimbal, same thing, the GT. And then this one, gimbal. The weapon that goes on that is that. All right. Save changes and equip. I'm not hearing any noise. So let me just check. I mean, the whole thing's just frozen now. Oh, whoa, whoa. They're coming. All right. There we go. So those are all equipped. Propulsion, the quantum drive is equipped. Systems, cooler, ultra flow, ultra flow, breaker, and F6. So I just need to change this shield generator. That'll take five minutes when I get over to Port Alisar. And then all the guns are equipped. Can you see them? Oh, I can see them. <laughs> this thing's going to be a beast. All right, guys. Oh, we've got it. So what I need to do now is head over to Port Alisar. And then, yeah. I think I'll take a Freelancer Max over there, though. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys. We're back. Dumpers Depot. Port Alisar. The reason I didn't buy it here in the first place is simply because I wanted to get all of the things as close together as possible. So, like, the power plant, the shields, and uh, what was the other thing? The coolers were all at Levski. Uh, but you can also buy the shield here. All right, shield. What was it again? The FR, this one. So, I only bought one of them. I could have swore I bought two of them, but it's fine. Transaction has succeeded. All right, guys. Let's build it. Let's add the last component. And then we'll do one little... Uh, <laughs> you're not going to want to see me do it. But we'll do one little thing... Ready, system. It's only shown one. Oh, one of eight. There we go. Two. Save changes. Done. All right. The ship is now fully completed. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, all we need to do is... Let's try and get a bounty. Let's see if there's one available right now. So, Taro Stefanelli. All right. Where is it? Not too far away. All right, guys. <laughs> Listen, I'm not known for my bounty hunting skills, okay? But we got to put this ship to the test. So, that's what we're going to do. 
Here she bloody is. New rockets, new guns. <laughs> new bloody everything. Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get in it. All right. Bounty hunt. Here we go. If I don't smash this, this is going to be embarrassing. And can we all agree, what a ship this thing is. I mean, it's just beautiful. Look at it. I love the way it turns on. Look. Click. Click. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. All right. Let's go. Whoa. What the hell was that all about? All right, guys. We've, we've done a boo-boo. We've done a boo-boo, guys. All right, hold on. We can fix this. One sec. Let's turn everything back on. All right, calm yourself. Stop moving. No, shh. Sh what is happening? Stop moving! <laughs> Stop moving. All right, everything's... Sh okay. Okay, we get it. I just have to change a few settings. I'll show you guys here in a second. This has happened once before. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh my god. I can't even turn it on. I can't even... Ah! It's because I need to change the power input on it. But it's... I need to land. Ah, shit. Alright, guys. Remember I told you there was one thing earlier in the video that may have been bugged? Well, that was the power plant. The Breton, Breton power plant, to be exact. And I think that's what's causing the issue. I've had this issue with the Freelancer Max before. You just have to change a few settings in the ship. So I'm going to try that. If that doesn't work, we'll put the old power plant back in and see if we can get that to work. But I'll keep you posted. All right, guys. So we got the ship back. I'm going to test out the power. Um, see if I can fiddle around with it. I'll show you guys exactly what I do. If this doesn't work, I'll switch back the, uh, the power plant. Because that is the one thing I said in the video that could be bugged. And it looks like it may be. All right, we've moved it down. That is, uh, that stopped the problem for now. All right, how do I fix this though? Hold on. All right, guys. So I think it is true. I think the power plant that we have in there doesn't work. I did try a few things, changing the power settings. Um, so we'll go ahead and do the one that Icy suggested, which is you can actually buy it here. So let's go ahead and do that. So with this one, this was my second choice anyway. But if the other one's not working, I mean, if there's a bug in the system right now that's making it so that one doesn't work, then, you know, it is what it is. But uh, this is the one right here. So we'll go ahead, purchase that. This should fix our problem. Bye. This should fix our problem. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can put that in. Uh, ship. Gladius 2. All right, here it is. So the Brighton is definitely the better. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right, we've still got our bounty there. Not to worry. All right, let's retrieve the ship again now that we've put in our new power plant. This should fix the issue. This should fix the issue. Fingers crossed. All right, here we go. Take two. The Gladius is back. Rocking and rolling. It's not that big of a difference in power plant, but I'm just, I was trying to show you the best one to get. But it, like I say, if it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. Um, so you can go for this one. Depending on when you're watching this video, it may work now. Ask in the comment section. Um, I'm sure you'll get answers. Or oh, jump into the Discord, that's also in the description of the video and you can ask there. But if you're watching this video fresh, it's not working as of right now. 3.8 we're in. 3.8.1 is about to come out. Alright, here we go. Let's test this bad boy. Come on, baby girl, you got this. Alright. Yeah, it looks fine. Yep, it's already, it's working. I can see the power consumption. Everything seems to be fine. Shields are going up. Let's make sure everything goes up before we decide to fly out again. Like a bunch of bloody noobs. You know what I mean? What are those bloody... Who's shooting at me now? Alright, shields at 100. We should be ready to rock and roll. Why is it pointing down? What the bloody hell is happening? <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is, uh, this is not how I planned this video on going. I'll tell you that much for free. Alright, we're, we're good to go. I think my top's open. How do I close the roof? I don't know what I did, but we did a thing. Where's the closed ladder, closed pilot canopy? Alright, guys. Oh, my days. 
that took a lot longer. All right, that was a bug in the game. That was nothing to do with me. All right, this guy's a bad guy. But we all ready. We have a bounty, so we're not going to go for it. I'm assuming this guy's just long gone. Yeah. All right, where's our bounty mission? All right, let's get out of here. This thing's so quick. We do have a better power plant, so it shouldn't say overpowered. No. Nope. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, let's get out of here. Should we test these weapons now, or... Oh, so it's gimbal. Oh my, look at the firepower. <laughs> look at this. You don't want to mess with this, baby. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go test this thing out. Oh my God. I've been recording for two and a half hours. I don't know where we're at, but I've been recording for two and a half hours. Where's this guy going to be at then? It's literally the person is inside of this asteroid. You're literally inside of the asteroid. I cannot get any closer to you if I wanted. Alert. Head. This is the worst I've ever seen. What the bloody hell. I'm going to accept this thing. Emergency distress beacon. Because I'm assuming that's got to be close, right? Yeah, I'm assuming this has got to be the same type of thing, right? Surely. We're going to that. We're not going to Yella. Stop it. Protect civilian. Oh. All right, here we go. Hold on. That's all right. Let's test out. I'm coming. Let's try these missiles. Um, I mean. Is that it? What do we reckon? Nope, there's going to be more coming. Don't know where they're coming from. Let's try these things out. Oh, look at them shredding! I'm not the best pilot, so don't use that as an excuse. Boom. I forgot to have auto gimbal on. I'm a bloody idiot. Stop flying around, buddy. There we go. Now we've got the gimbal on. This should smash him now. Now that we're not using my... Use, <laughs> relying on my skills to get him. Alright, well, didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Alright, there we go. Objective complete. Oh, my days. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gents. Don't use my flying skills, my battles in space. This It's a good ship, right? <laughs> it's a good ship. I just suck at it. Anyway, guys, look at this thing. I'm excited for it. Can't wait to use it. A little bit more but anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button subscribe if you're new let me know in the comment section down below uh if there's any other ships you would like me to do next because i'm definitely going to be doing more and i'm going to be redoing the uh caterpillar and the freelancer max so stick around for them but anyway guys i hope you enjoy the rest of your day um let me show you one last time the exact setup we have on this ship so this is what we have right here. I will leave it linked in the comment section down below. Make sure you go check that out. It's a beast. The only thing I would change is obviously this thing is obviously the best power plant, but it's just not working right now. So we went for this one right here. Also available at Port Alisar. And if you actually click it, hit the shopping cart, it'll tell you where else it's available. So Grim Hex, Crew L1, Crew L5, and Her L5. Anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye!